it's Trey and I'm back with another sneaker video today. I'm on the way to pick up the black cement folders, reimagine them leather joints. But before I get more into that, like this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. More content is on the way. And share this video when you get a chance, you know, with some of your people out there. But has anybody, did anybody hit on in-store raffles? Did anybody hit online or online raffles as well i should say for the black cement fours i'm so excited to have this pair in the collection i have the other pair as well the new buck pair or whatever other type of material you want to call that pair but i have still have that pair it's not dead stock i've worn that pair a lot it's been on ice for a little minute but i do still have that pair and also, if you haven't, check out the other videos on my page. Let me know what you guys think of those videos. Comment below. Let, let me know what's good. But expect more videos to come up. I'm going to have a shoe haul coming up because I did hit on another sneaker this morning. Then I'll have another shoe on the way. So I'm going to show you all some of my pickups for the end of Fe February. So expect that video to come as well. But I'm on my way now to first Foot Locker. I was able to hit for my barber. He needed two pairs, so looking out for other people as well. So I was able to hit a size 12 for him at Foot Locker. Then I also hit at DTLR. So I'm gonna take y'all on the journey as I go to Foot Locker to go pick up that size and pick up the shoe, the bread, you know, the fours, the bread fours. And then also as I go to DTLR to pick up those shoes. So just stay tuned with me. There's a pick pickup vlog. Expect more of these as more sneakers start to drop. This is a crazy read. I don't know if some of you guys picked up the KD4s. I like the shoe, and I thought about picking it up, but when I look at the colorway, no matter how dope it is, and it's something as a collector or as somebody who just likes sneakers, that is a shoe for us to just have in our collection, whether you eventually hoop in it, use it as a gym shoe, it is something to have in your collection. So I think maybe later down on the line, I'm gonna see how the prices go with that shoe and see whether I go pick, pick it up later or not. But currently on the way now to Foot Locker first, cause they open first. So I'm gonna pick that shoe up first from them. And then I'm gonna head to the DTLR location to pick up the other fours. But I'm live and direct live with y'all in these Miami streets. I'm driving right now. Y'all may not be able to see, but I am driving right now. I gotta put on the U the U UV ray on here though, but I am driving right now, chilling, and I'll be there shortly. Well, at least on YouTube, y'all see me there shortly, pulling up to to the mall. All right, I'm back. I made it to Westland Mall, so this is the first place I'm coming to pick up sneakers. Here, I was able to hit at Foot Locker, and I hit size ten and a half for here. So you don't know that's my size, but this is actually not going to be a personal pair for me. I'm actually gonna give this pair to my barber because he needed it for one of his sons. So, pair is not personal for me. I actually just got the results from sneakers. I actually did not hit at all on sneakers, which I'm surprised at. But I tried. That shoe is not gonna pass me by, I'm not worried. Also just sold another sneaker on the Alias app or the Goat app. So I'm gonna have some cash coming in. So if I need to do the quick so the day to just have them, I could go get them, but I'm gonna wait, be patient. This pair will come to me, no issue, no problem at all. But I'm here, I'm at the Westland Mall. So if you don't know, this is a mall in Hialeah, you would consider, it's right on 103rd Street. And they do have a shoe palace here. And then they got a Champs here. And then they also have a Foot Locker. And then they also have some, what you consider like outlet stores. So there's an outlet for Express here. And there's some other outlets here. And I see they finally have the JD Sports here. So this is new, this was not here before, but that's, it is good to see that they do have a JD Sports here. And they also have H&M is inside here. And then they have a big Forever 21 inside this mall. It's not a big mall, but you can come here, find some good steals, find some good deals. Legit mall, everything inside here is legit. So you can find some good stuff inside here, but. Number one, I wanna ask how's everybody week been? 
or the week coming up. How's your week going? How you spending your weekend? We got the aftermath of the Super Bowl. We saw the Chiefs win again. So it's some stuff I still need to talk about on this channel. Just been really busy lately on some stuff I'm cooking that I may start telling you guys about a little bit more later down the line. But just know I'm working on the sidelines. I even got a gig today as I'm filming this at two o'clock. So I'm putting in that extra work. I know that I need to post more on this channel and I will start posting more. Why are you guys excited about these bread fours? Reimagine all leather. Let's see how this go. And then they also said these are supposed to be more comfortable than the other fours. They're supposed to kind of resemble what the SB fours kind of have and how comfortable the SB fours are. But I'm getting ready to pull up to Foot Locker now. Seems like they changed it to make this one more of like a house of hoops type Foot Locker. But I'm about to pull up now. Food de laca, in the words of Mike Rich, food de laca. Pulling up on Foot Locker right now. Let's see what it's hitting for. Let's see what the vibes are on this pickup Saturday for the Jordan 4 bread. To the DTLR, you can kind of see it in the distance there. Getting ready to pick up these fours. This is the other size I hit on. Just had to turn on the ND filter, so if I look darker, that's what that's the reason why. But about the smooth get in this parking spot right here. And then I'll show you guys more so when I, I get out. I just want to show y'all the own feet today. Got those Yeezy 350 joints on. I think these are called the MX Rocks, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I got my Yeezys on with my Hum and Fem jeans on. Then I'm rocking a Supreme shirt here. Yeah. That's DTLR. I'm about to walk inside now. See what we can see. Bag has been secure at a DTLR. And then I also ended up getting a size. Also ended up getting a size or a shoe for my godson. You know, just something to match for his junior uniform. So I'll show that as well. But I was able to pick up a size 12 here. What's up, man? For, for my barber, but we won't see what's gonna go and happen. One I'm about to do a quick review of the Air Jordan 4 Black Cement. This is how the box looks here. If you don't see this code here, you probably got a fake. And they gave me a kind of bad box here, but it's fine. This is what to expect in the paper. And boom, here is the shoe. Still looks like the iconic. Let me do that quick smell test. Still smells good. Got the Nike Air on the back. Basically got all black. You still have the gray spider webs there. All black netting going all the way up. And then you have the red Jumpman with the flight on there. And as you know, all Jordan 4s, the Air Jordan sign is upside down. So that's upside down, but hey. This shoe is dope in hand. Very tumbled on the leather. Looking pretty good. Got that clear bubble inside there. But yeah, all in all, let me know if you guys were able to cop today. Definitely a dope shoe. Go get it if you have a chance. Do not let prices creep up on this shoe. Nike here on the back in that gray. Do not let prices creep up on this shoe, man. Please get them. And this is the other pair. As well, don't have to pull that one out. But I think Nike did something different with this release because a lot of people in my friend group and a lot of friends I know, they were not able to cop. So let me know if you guys were able to cop down below and what are you guys' thoughts on this shoe. But happy to have been able to get two pairs for my barber so his kids would be able to have shoes. I was not able to get a personal size for me, 
but it's okay. I'll be on the lookout. And like I mentioned before, early in the vlog, I may just buy them off GOAT. No pressure at all and just have them. And I still have the 2019 pair. Still in really, really, really good condition. And I may actually get it restored because the chat I'm in, I got a guy who could probably restore them. So maybe fine tune the paint a little bit. But I'm happy with my pair. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a like, sub to the channel, and comment below. One love.